Hello, and welcome back to Might and Magic 3, Isles of Terra. So we're heading back into the Dragon's Cavern. Um, and hopefully with... Uh, um, this time, as you can see here, uh, everybody is at the level that they're supposed to be at. Uh, I have buffed everybody up with um, uh, all the resistances and everything like that from the statues and the resist elements and all that nonsense. Which should certainly help. But yeah, we're going to actually explore properly this time. Uh, heed my humble warning first, these walls for living blood do thirst. Yes, they do. Okay. Explore the other way this time. And we're not going to go down the... Not going to go down to fight the Dragon, dragon Lord again. We, we have killed him. That is official. We did it. But doesn't mean we can't still clear the rest of the cavern. These mini dragons are just annoying because they take so long to process through all their fire attacks. I mean, to be fair... They have the potential to be very deadly. Uh, beyond this point will lie your doom. These grounds shall be your burial tomb. Oh, and we're back to our dragon friend here. So, I mean, these guys are... are they, they do quite a bit more damage now. Um, so that should be fun to deal with. But, like I said, I think it should be a, an interesting challenge. Um, turn back before you're through, or Dragon's Teeth will chew on you. Well, let's head back up this way, because there was more to explore up here that we didn't get to, because we just beelined to the Dragon Lord. Um, and we're just going to leave him be. Uh, but yeah, so Dragon Lord is down that way. We're going to explore the rest of this. Because there is treasure! I've sworn these guys were doing more damage to me before. I didn't think my resistances were that high. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess one other thing is because when the day rolls, you don't actually lose your uh, spell points and stuff like that. Uh, or your hit points. So everybody's got more hit points than typical. But, um... Got some cool stuff. We'll check that out later. And more cool stuff. Oh, there we go. Yeah, they are definitely doing damage to us. Okay, so I was worried something like weird might have bugged out or something there. Yeah, they're doing considerable damage to us, actually. Uh, okay, let's do some power cures for everybody. That ought to help. Keep exploring. Avoiding those acid pits. So that's the skull we already went by. And we're back to the Dragon Lord. And apparently it respawns really fast here. So that's exciting. Wonder what the respawn square is. Okay. Let's keep forging ahead. Uh, exit is up this way, by the way, in case you were wondering. On the other side of those mini dragons. But yeah, the respawns here are no joke. Good gosh. I'm not even sure I'd have been able to fight my way out after dealing with the, the dragon lord. Okay. Let's explore this way. Got more green dragons. Let's do a... Uh... So 
we can plot our way through them. That's for sure. Oops. Misclick. And we got another power orb. Nice. Okay, let's do another round of heals here. Again, Dora is getting the snot kicked out of her. Only has 90 poison resistance, that might be why. Oh well. Ah, we can keep her alive. For more treasure. And more treasure. Okay. Huh, depending on how long this is, I might just append it to the um the last episode. Cause I'm almost through the cavern, I think. There isn't too much left to explore. Uh, run away with all your haste or be reduced to a bloody paste. Well, that's cheerful. Uh, okay. Well, let's keep exploring. Oh, more dragons. Get it with an implosion. And fight it down from here seems to be a good strategy. Balances out the damage taken with conserving spell points. And got more stuff. Like, there's nothing critical in here, which is kind of interesting. Like, absolutely nothing in this dungeon matters. Um, but there's some great stuff. Oh, we have another... I'm sure there's only one Dragon Lord. I might save before going down here too much further. Uh, and also heal people up. Everybody else is okay. Yeah, I'm just going to toss a quick save in here, just in case. This is 5 east, so if I go east, is there another... Is there another... Uh... Five? Nope, didn't work. Five south, so if I go... One, two... Three, four, five, and then cast. Hey, yeah, that does work. Okay, so I guess that's the code. Now to get back from here, if I look on my, yeah, uh, cast teleport five. Yeah, we did it. Okay. My auto mapper crashed too, so we're going at this a little bit more blind. Oh, Gandor got knocked out. Won't do. Actually, let's do a. Oh, what the heck? Let's do a Inferno. Power cure yourself. That's probably the most important. Power cure Gandora. And, oh, shouldn't have Inferno'd. That was a bit of a waste. Definitely gonna have to stop and heal up here. Oh, we're into Alan Bow picking stuff up now, so. Yep, everybody's healed. Perfect. Oh, keep 
wasting spell points on that stupid inferno. Just blast him with a implosion. There we go. I'm assuming Gandor is probably low on hit points again. As is Helmuth, for that matter. Uh, also, Alander is starting to run low on spell points. So this might be it for my exploration of the Dragon Cavern after this. I'm going to actually swap to Nature's Cure, maybe? Okay, there we go. Okay, we're into Phineas picking stuff up now. Um, still have eight slots left. And hey, there's another ultimate power orb. And I think that is it for this dungeon. I don't think there's anything else. Let me just check. Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, like I said, the auto mapper is is um, not working right now, so kind of going a little bit blind. But I can make it out of here at least. Let's see, can I get out of the dungeon? But yeah, I think that is it for this episode. Um, once I get out, at least. A bit short. Um, I'll take a look, see what it looks like once I edit. Oh, a whole schwack of mini dragons. Lots of mini dragons. I know what I can do. Um, let's do an elemental storm with cold. Well, that was less spectacular than I was hoping. What do you have that might be interesting? Megavolts? Oh, that that did a thing. Ha! <laughs> Zap. Okay. And then from here, I think it's just a matter of boogieing on up north to get out. Yeah, there we go. There's the exit. So yeah, we successfully cleared the the Dragon Cavern. Um, I'm guess before I put a cut in, let's take a quick look at what sort of stuff we got out of it. A diamond longbow, some steel junk, a force coin. I'd assume that is strength. Platinum pike. Gold daggers, scorching silver marksman breastplate. That's a fun combo. Ooh, emerald kimono. I wonder if that's better than the ruby one. Acidic dragon mall of portals. I love that name. I kind of want to use it just for that reason. And as a matter of fact, I think Alandra might be able to. That might be a worthwhile pickup for her. Uh, let's see. Steel longsword. God, just discard that. Um... Can she use it? I think she can. And I guess the other question would be, is it two-handed? No, it's one-handed. Interesting. I bet you anything that's going to be better than the Thermal Divine Cudgel. Um, certainly boost her strength up. Yeah, might have 104 now. She's, yeah, she's up there with Helmuth and pretty much everybody but uh, Katrina. Cool. Okay, well, that's worth worthwhile. Uh, other than that, gold dagger, obsidian cowl, somebody can probably use that. Uh, diamond dagger is kind of worthless at this point. Sapphire longsword. Oh, Gandora's stuff is broken. Um, wind round shield, I think that's a speed boost. Some steel, some gold. Nothing too spectacular there. An obsidian round shield. That might be better than 
I think somebody's got like an obsidian buckler. It's like an extra point of, yeah. Septimus has an obsidian buckler, so it might be an extra point of AC or something like that for him. But yeah, um, I think next episode is going to be the finale. So yeah, uh, looking forward to that. It should be a lot of fun. Um, and until then, I guess I will catch you next time. Hey, and got a helmet. What you? What kind of helmet did you find? A sonic helmet. Good for you, Renar. Okay, well, um, I guess until... Sorry, I think I just accidentally muted my microphone there. Until next time, I will uh, catch you then. So, cheers. <laughs>